From portraits being vandalized to Kate and William arguing reports, apparently retiring, a lot to get into in five minutes. Let's go. Hey guys, that's Marad Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again, it is daily and consistent content. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up and let's get straight into this video. <coughs> Do follow me on my Instagram at Murad underscore Morali. I would appreciate it. And let's break this down. So, long story short, tabloids have been resurfaced from December 2023 timing is interesting, where it's being discussed how William and Kate were not speaking for two weeks, the pressure is getting to them, they were sent to separate royal events to call off, and they were battling over work and the children. William accuses Kate of picking fights. So this actually took place, these tabloid reports, whether it's fodder or not, the timing of this is why I'm bringing this into the discussion. I find this to be very interesting, which is why I feel like because of these loud whispers from these tabloids, that the demise of Kate's presence in the family is not just to do with an illness, but also to do with William. I think they're focal marriage issues. Yet again, it's being discussed. Dece this was the December 2023 issue, guys. Um, I don't really believe these tabloids, but the timing of all of this is interesting because right after that, she disappeared. Right after that. A Toronto Star article was produced today discussing again how Kate Middleton is planning to retire from public life a look at the stay-at-home princess and what she's become so UK Canadian not UK sorry Canadian American press specifically American press have been detailing retirement for a very long time or for the fact that she won't return in the presence that she is whether it's US Weekly which went viral whether it's Radar Online you know whether it's a now Canadian press they're all having a similar linear theme of discussions which is that Kate is going to retire She's not going to have the same presence as before and that her time at the royal family, it's basically just ending. That's basically what they're saying. So they are getting information that the UK, is, for some reason, is not touching either because of an injunction, royalty, you know, connections with the UK press. That's what it's coming across to me. Um, and I just find that to be interesting because I feel like there's a pattern here with what over the... But the, uh, with what the people say on the other side of the pond as opposed to here in the UK. Now, it's gone viral. It happened today, a couple of hours ago. Uh, we all remember where we were when that dreaded portrait of King Charles was released where he looks like, I don't know why, it looks, just looked demonic and awful. A emblematic response of the bloodstain of this royal family and the UK in general, and what they've done to this world and what they're currently still doing to the world. Um, but we have the fact that it was vandalized. Animal Rising protesters put a picture of the cartoon character Wallace from the animation Wallace and Gromit over King Charles's portrait. Now, I feel like this, what they would, these protesters have done to the portrait is a major, major positive overhaul. It looks much better now. Love the portrait love what they've done with it and it's just funny that they could even get access to it you would have thought that this portrait would have been protected by guards continuously but clearly nobody cares nobody cares at all now it looks like harry could be losing people because for some reason gb news is reporting how princess eugenie has been removed from the royal family blacklist after cutting ties with prince harry princess eugenie has been removed from the blacklist um beatrice and eugenie have remained close to the Sussex pair, but that is all changing with reports stating that they have been cut from, you know, um, they're cutting Harry out. Now, this would make sense to me because they're desperate to replace Kate Middleton because she has been around. And of course, Eugenie and Beatrice apparently are gonna be parading around events with Charles and whatever. So they clearly want to have those royal working engagements so desperately. So they would do anything that they want to do to get to those positions. And if that means to cut Harry off, they would easily do that because A, Harry is not even in the UK, he's in America. B, easy to cut him off. C, I don't even think Harry cares. D, I don't even think it's even life-changing to be honest with you for Harry, but it could be life-changing for Eugenie and Beatrice. They desperately want these roles. They envy Kate, Meghan, Harry, William, the main family. They were so close, but they're just not there. I like, if I'm part of the royal family, I better be the main bitch. That's just the way I see it. I'm not gonna be, no, second family, third family. I'm gonna be the main family. And that's what Eugenie and Beatrice have always wanted. Clearly, if these rumors or articles or whatever you wanna call it are true via GB News, that they are cutting off Harry. And you know, poor Harry is gonna be so shocked that Eugenie and Beatrice have basically cut him off. I mean, I don't think it's life changing guys. And I don't think they really care. Um, if anything, I just don't know what's gonna happen to Queen Kate when she becomes Kate, like when she becomes the Queen story. Like, I just don't know 
how this, this is going to pan out. Like, it's going to be October 2025 that she's going to return according to Spanish press. Does that make any sense? Like, I just feel like all of this is going to come out. The mess that they are hiding is going to come out and it's going to be an absolute shit show. And we are all going to be there to witness what this shit show is going to be when it all comes out. Like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that this is going to turn into some mess. It already is, but clearly the way they're handling it, they don't know what to do. They're having these alleged emergency meetings every two months. And for the next two months, like they're planning it as it goes along. Like it's so evident to see. Subscribe and comment down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this five to six minute Royal Nugget video. You get a few stories, less than six minutes, in and out guys. That's just how it should be. I would appreciate if you guys do subscribe. It's one click. That's all it is. It's just one click to subscribe. And head over to my Instagram and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.